Life is a sequence, a sequence of wonderful moments. And to have these wonderful moments in our life, I guess there's two big things we need. First, the ideas, ideas what, you, what we want to create, what we want to experience. And secondly, the momentum to get things going. Let's start with the first one, getting the ideas of what we want to experience, what we want to create. There is one tool that enables our mind to kind of start spotting more opportunities. I use these different idea books. This idea book I've received as a gift years and years ago from a friend of mine as a birthday present. And what I started doing is I just started using it as a notebook for taking big ideas when I was reading books, when I was going to the seminars, just taking notes. What are the insights? What are the ideas? What are the like, elements that I, I, I would like to use in the future? And then one day I started making different lists, you know, lists about where I would love to travel, where I would love to uh, uh, go, what I would like to experience, what I would like to try out what kind of people I would like to meet, what I would like to do during my life. Different kind of lists, whatever came to my mind. And I even took this one challenge to brainstorm um, 10 business ideas. No, not 10, 300 business ideas in one month, but 10 business ideas every day for 30 days in a row. Well, that's quite a crazy idea. Yep. So I started writing down these different ideas. What can I do to improve my services? Maybe some interesting workshops we could do, some interesting, maybe totally new services or products to events, some crazy stuff. They didn't have to be million dollar ideas. They were just crazy ideas to experiment and that would actually, they, you could actually ask money from that. So every day, 10 ideas writing down aiming for the 300 ideas, which was a, quite a crazy goal. By the way, what do you think? Did I make it to the 300? Well, actually, not exactly. I, I made it to like 262 ideas. Hmm, I wanted to go to 300, but only made it to 262. Did I fail? I wanted 300, but I didn't make it. I don't think so. If I hadn't made this list, if I hadn't had this stretching goal for 300, I probably would have maybe like 10 or 20. But then I had 262, which were quite crazy ideas. And many of them I had been able to realize as in uh, advancing the existing products or creating some new ideas or some of them are just so crazy that uh, maybe when I get really old I will do them. But the wonderful thing is what this exercise did in my mind is that I went around and I kind of started spotting opportunities. Have you ever thought what is the difference between an enterprising person who is really active and changing things and not a non-enterprising person who is like kind of just doing the work he's told to and that's about it. The difference is that where non-enterprising person sees problems, oh, why is this like that? Or why is it, why aren't they there, this kind of things and that kind of things? Then the enterprising person sees, hmm, hey, I could actually offer this kind of service here, or maybe I could invent this kind of product and I could solve this problem and that would help people. So it's a question of mindset. Do you see problems as opportunities? Or do you see problems as some annoying things on the way? What this exercise did for me, at least I feel so, is that it's, um, it's enabled me to start focusing on problems as opportunities as things that I can do to actually improve as a piece of advice, as a crazy thing to try out and figure out how it works for you. I invite you to take just a notebook, something you can carry around and start using it as an idea book. You can start doing lists here about things you want to experience, maybe places you want to go, things you want to do. 
you can uh, start making maybe generating business ideas you can start making notes from seminars from uh, lessons from uh, from books getting these big ideas these insights and gathering them focusing on them and time to time just reading them through and thinking how you can execute them for me in my belief uh, this has been a really powerful tool to expand the opportunities, to expand the kind of like the prism of ideas where I could choose what I want to do. Now, let's face it, all these ideas you don't have to execute now. Maybe when the time is right, right maybe a year from now or months from now, then when the time is right, you can execute them. Some of them you don't even have to execute. But the idea is get your mind going. Train your mind to spot the ideas. Train your mind to dream. Train your mind to learn, to be alive. And use this kind of idea books to do it. I've had maybe like 10 of these already. Smaller ones, bigger ones, always carrying around, listening to audiobooks, writing down ideas, learning, experimenting, keeping your mind fresh and spotting the opportunities. Stay inspired, get your ideas going. Grab an idea book and start jotting down all the insights you're getting from day-to-day -day basis.